Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Pillars of Eternity, The White March. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you're just to join me today as we try to kill the ogres in this little, little dungeon, or cave, rather, um, that uh, there are so efficiently killing us, efficiently killing us, so I've been trying to do it off camera, it's not really a thing that I have been doing very, very well, and I think it's just down to uh, timing the, um, you know, the uh, ranged attacks properly and bringing down the druids as fast as possible. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and uh, bring as least uh, the least amount of them as possible, which is something that I have not been able to do because they are kind of uh, all clumped together. And there it is. We got sight right there, and we got movement right there. That guy still sees us, and there we go. Okay, so that's what I have been trying to do. That's a druid right there, and it's ca casting his thing. No, no, you guys stay back here. You stay back here, you stay back well. here. No, no, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, okay. Uh, that is a ogre, that is a druid right there. Okay, so my strategy basically revolves around... Uh, first things first, let's cast the Circle of Protection. And uh, let's see, what, wait a minute, what is this? Uh, prevents a severely wounded character health from reaching zero when it would result in death. Oh, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Hmm. But it's not for us right now. Let's cast this thing. And the thing that I'm going to cast first is this. I'm going to need to dominate that guy over there as much as possible. So let's try and focus our efforts here in this ogre. Uh, it is not a good position for us to be in because... Uh, the circle of protection is over there. That is a bad thing. And, uh, yeah, I already miscast this one. It's, yeah. If we have an ogre on our side, it should be okay. Let's bring Gorgon back. Word. Are you guys stuck? Hopefully you're not. Yeah, the circle of protection was a misspell, which is bad. Uh, let's see what I can do here. I can do something like this. Yeah, this would be good here. Try to bring up the, uh... Oh, the constitution a little bit. Uh... But the heals are going to be very, very, very important. I think the druid resisted that one. Or have you not cast it yet? No, we're still casting it. Please cast it. Please cast it. Come on, come on, come on. Have you cast it? It, it resisted it. No, there it is. There it is. There it is. Good. Okay, so. Whew. Uh, first, we are going to need some proper healing right now. Let's heal everyone up as much as possible. Who is that? That's Heather. Heather can take it a little bit. Not a whole lot. A little bit. Let's... Okay, so Adapa is already down. Uh, okay, so we need to bring down the second druid, which is over here. Um, you are ca still casting your thing. Cast that again. Okay, no, get get in there, actually. And cast that again. Yeah, we need healings. Heal! Come on. There we go. Okay, next, you're going to cast another circle of protection. Uh, right here. As soon as we kill that druid, that should be okay. Uh, Giladel, uh, you go ahead and go into melee. No, don't go into melee. Try to dominate. Is there another druid around here? Uh, no, try to dominate that. I think we are good because the mind plague is jumping. There's a matron. Okay, so they're all... Okay, so things are looking up. Things are looking up. I'm gonna try and dominate that. Everybody else, kindly attack that one as soon as possible. Except for you. You're gonna cast... Um, let's see, there's a... Uh, prayer grass bewilderment, not really what I want. Searing seal, mm -hmm, that's not that bad. Mm, yeah, it's not that bad, but uh, it's not what I want. What I need is healing. That's what I really need. Let's go with that. Right there. Okay, good. Uh, now, that one is not dead. This one needs to die, though. Everybody attack this guy, please. Please, kill him. Kill, kill. Yeah, okay, so there, the matron is out. Out, okay. Come on, come on. They are attacking the matron, which is good. That druid is gone. That druid is not gone. Let's kill that one now. Uh, now we need healings as well. Again, this is a never a never increasing battle what? of health, Whoa. fighting and all that. Okay, that is bad. Mm -hmm. You cast the wrong the spell in the wrong spot. Where the hell is Kitty? Why is she over there? Is she on melee? She's on melee. Why? Damn it. Yeah, she's gonna die. She is going to die. Now, we need to kill this. Um, we might be able to s save this thing here. Uh, because they are the druids, as soon as the druids are gone, I think our fighters should be able to 
to uh, just um, brute force our, uh, their way through this. Is she taking, is she's taking, yeah, she's still taking damage. So let's bring you over there. And I need another heal immediately right there. As soon as possible. Now you need to attack everybody. Everybody needs to attack the, attack the druids. Forget the matron. Heal the goddamn druid as soon as possible. Okay, we're gonna need uh, you to be right here. And heal everybody. The druid, damn it. Yeah, there's... Uh, he's confused for four more seconds. I don't think he's gonna... Oh, boy, this is bad. This is bad. Let's see. Instill doubt. This would work if it passed the, the shacks, but I don't think it will. Okay. Okay, I think we're good. No, there's still another druid. Damn it. Okay. Um, I th yeah, the druid is a very big problem. Don't underestimate that thing. Why is he disengaging? She wasn't engaging on him. Uh, yeah, the druid is a very big problem. Am I gonna need... Uh, that's not what I want. Damn it. This is what I want. Uh, damn it. So... Uh, cleansing fire. This is for healings, right? No. This basically a ball of holy fire at the enemy that purges its protection. Uh, yeah. It's good, but... Is it... Does it... Ta or, no, I, I, I think we're good. I eat a priest's god restoring endurance. Yeah, I think this is what I want right now. Can we do that? Okay, we're good. Can you kill that thing, though? Can you instill doubt or something? Uh, what, which one uh, was it? The instill doubt thing that you had? Uh, is that, what's that? Watchful presence, not really what I want. Uh, champion of Boon, yeah, we'll go with that for... Yeah, Ether. Yeah, okay, so they're all now back from their little, you know, uh, oh, damn it, okay. Everybody, please kill the druid, because we... Yeah, the Gideon was down. Kill the goddamn druid. There we go. Okay, so we're good. We won this. We won this. Damn it. This was a tough battle. It was a really tough battle. I tried it like... The, yeah, that's fine. Don't, don't attack the matron. She's okay. Um, I tried it like three or four times already. And the, it gets to a point... Because as soon as one of your characters dies at the beginning, it's just not... You can't really do the, the damage output. And it's a really tough battle. And I... I know I'm talking and I'm doing a worse job, and actually I, I think I, I uh, didn't do as good a job as I should have, but it's um, it's it's okay. I think I think for all, for all that it is, it's it's okay. It was okay. Whew. Oh, now where the hell did these ogres appear from? Because we are right now. Where are we right now? Uh, Elm Shore, Elm Shore, right there. And we're going to Twin Elms because. Um, I'm not really sure what we're doing right now, actually. Assassin at large. Theus has killed... Oh, that's why. That's why we're going there, because he went there. Uh, and we're going to Twin Elms, because we are trying to kill him, or get him back for, for what he did. But for right now, we are killing ogres. So let's... Well, we're not killing ogres anymore. I'm saving the game. And, uh, yeah, they are dead. Unless there's more here, which I never got to see if there were. No, there are not. No, they are not. The bones have been snapped and crushed by massive teeth. No trouble. Huh, okay. Level 5 lock. Really? Okay, whatever you say. We got range deflection bonus. That's pretty good, especially for her. I will keep it. I will have to look over there um, when I care, because there's still a lot of items here. Um, and we got fan walkers. What the hell are those? Plus defense against stuck, paralyzed, wobbled. Uh, that is pretty good. That's pretty good. Maybe you should take those. I don't know. Let's take those, Cave Coral, and I got another one over there. I think we're good, but that is that. Man, all that trouble for just the experience. Okay, whatever, whatever. It was just seven minutes this episode and probably another seven minutes uh, last episode. Um, but that that was a tough battle, and I hope you guys have enjoyed it, because I... all well, I have. This one, this this last one I have. I have enjoyed that one, because... I, I like how, I, I don't know, I, I try to talk through my strategical, uh, no matter how weakly, uh, how weak it is, my strategical thought, uh, I try to explain it to you guys, and just, you know, in my in my own head, justify what I'm doing, but, uh, oh yeah, okay, so, I, I, okay, so yeah, that's good, I thought, I thought that we had exported this all, but we haven't, we are now here, we were looking around, we we're trying to see what we would be able to find, or whatever, uh, there is uh, rain. Bl there are rain blights around, which are okay by me. Oh, they do. They do cast that that critical not that lightning strike that they do, but it's fine. They're immune to piercing though, which is bad. But yeah, we should be okay with our uh, melee characters dealing most of the damage for them. So much. There you go. And of course, the uh, I think the uh, her wand deals more damage, fire damage or something. I don't know. 
Um, but we're good. We're good. Let's see. We got some vital primal essence, primal water. That's different. It's pretty much the same thing. Uh, but yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, and uh, let's continue. Let us move on. There's more stuff up here that I didn't get because this was this was from the ogres. No, an elder stag horn. Who killed the elder stag? Why would they do that? And why would I need the horns? Hmm, probably for crafting. Probably for crafting. So I'm going up here. Uh, so I thought, yeah, I really thought that Elmshore was done for. <gasps> what is this? What's the bridge? It's an elven bridge. Look at that. How pretty. Made of, uh, it's pretty cool actually. It's really, really cool. Um, it reminds me of uh, the bridges. The El Yeah, not really the bridges, but the city in Arcanum. Uh, the elven city in the, the forest. I think it was like that. Because that's basically stonework, and then they grew the tree on top of the stonework. I don't really know how that goes. Uh, let's hope that nothing terrible goes on here. So guys, can you attack the Will-O-Wisp over here? Because I don't think it's... Yeah, it's not immune to uh, piercing, so it's okay. The rain glides. No, don't attack Adipa. That's a bad idea. Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and do that. And we got a more Will-O-Wisps down here and more rain blights. So there we go. Adipa is now confused again. And so they kind of confuse her. She's like, mm. yeah, I would be confused as well. I mean... Water beings and just, it's weird. It is weird. I would be confused if I saw something like this. Um, so I think we're good. There we go. Let's take our primal water and uh, whatever the other thing was. What was it called? Spirit residue. It's fine. Uh, we got more Adra. This this is, uh, but it looks like it's dead. This Adra, but probably isn't. I've said this before, but we are, uh, we are yet to see dead that Adra. I think. In oh yeah, he's probably alive. But this looks like a staircase down. Doesn't it look like a staircase down? It's not. I don't think it is. Let me look at the map. I'm liking this area, though. Adra Pillars. Huh. Okay. More of these more, more of these bridges. So, yeah, basically, they, they made the bridge out of steps, which is already a pretty weird decision by them, but whatever. And then they grew the tree... Somehow, at least, I don't even know what how they do this. I, I wouldn't know. Because it looks like it's two trees joined together. It's very, very cool. Oh, spirits? Are these spirits? I think they are spirits. Anyone's Anyone suspected of treachery must be reported at once. Just like that, huh? That's Theus. Good, you have come heard of the recent defections from our order caused by this, this subhastate in Kratum? Uh, I, so last time around he was speaking to me with the, on this one, but he doesn't recognize me. Well, apparently, yes, I have. This is a dangerous woman whose lies spread like plague. She inspires chaos, sows conflict. Because of these... Unusual circumstances. I am speaking to all our initiates personally to ensure there is no more dissension. You mean because she was one of us? Who she was no longer matters. If her following continues to grow, there will be war, and all our work will be undone. Is she talking about Lady Webb? You were recruited from Kratum, were you not? You must have known this heretic woman, Yavara. Yavara? Yavara Webb? Was that her name? Uh, no, we never met. That is for the best. She has been using her prior relationships with our members to manipulate them. I am trusting you to remain loyal to the gods in this. If you do not, you will have greater powers than me to answer to. But you will answer to me as well. I understand your eminence. Okay. Not sure what to make of that. We got boars. Apparently they are friendly, which is good. Which is okay. I'm not gonna mess around with them, because they probably deal a lot of damage, as they usually do in uh, video games. Boars are... I don't know. It's, I still remember the first time I played Gothic 3? Was it Gothic 3? Or was it Reason? I don't know, but probably both those both of those games had terribly, terribly deadly boars right at the beginning of the game. And I was like, man, the fighting in this game. The fighting in this game, and it is. It, they were kind of unbalanced, both of them. 
Uh, but Gothic 3, yeah, no, I, I preferred Gothic 3 to uh, Risen, the original one. Uh, mostly because it just was a little bit bigger. And uh, the soundtrack was pretty awesome as well. Yeah, both both ga good games as they were, but Boars they kind of yeah they stuck they stuck in my mind. What is this Twin Elms? Is that two Twin Twin Elms? So if that's the case, let me just take the road and not go there right now. Okay, we can go to Hearth Sung. Let's go over there and see if we can find this uh, Thalos guy again. Yeah, come on guys, we ain't got all day. We ain't got all day. What talk about? It's hour 16. What? Hour 16 doesn't mean it's 2 p.m.? I suppose so. So we ain't got all day. Yeah, what I said. What I said. We got an antelope over here. Man. All kinds of animals around here. All kinds of animals. We got boars, we got stags, we got staglers, whatever these guys are. Yep. Elder Stagler. Have we met these guys before? Elder ones. That one is pretty big, though. Big, big kitty. Wouldn't like go up against one. Yeah. Kitty, big big cats are just generally. Oh, this guy. This guy I didn't see you there. But I'm gonna go on the that big cat rant in a little bit. Let's just I'll have a chat with this guy. Dying monk. Oh, you're dying. The man on the ground gasps for air, clutching at his chest as he struggles. On closer examination, you see his red cloak obscures the full extent of his injuries. His face whitens as blood pools around him. Please, traveler. He reaches out, arduously extending his hand to you. Uh. What happened? Forgetful, so careless. Got on my knuckles from the morning's practice. The Stagglers, they smelled the blood on me. Thought they found their next meal. They were almost correct. You are known to us, Watcher. We know you have treated others honestly, f fairly. And I have need of someone trustworthy to finish my mission. Okay, uh... I, I'm, not, I'm not going to lie, your wounds look too severe to be helped. I have borne upon my flesh countless injuries, and I know this time I will not recover. The long walk of my life concludes here, but my soul is prepared. This must be delivered to my order. The monk weakly grasps at his satchel, drawing from it a messenger's scroll. Take it! He rasps, waving the missive at you. Finally, I got a voice right. <laughs> It needs needs to be carried to the celestial sapling. Give this to my brothers; they they will reward you. Do not open it. The contents are for my brothers only. If the seal is broken, they will. Blood erupts from the man's mouth. Streams of red oozing down his neck. His his head slumps backwards, and his body goes still. Very. Very carefully open the scroll, attempting to not break the seals. <laughs> I suppose that's different from if uh, whether we had less dexterity. Uh, maybe with dexterity 14, we'd, we'd be like, very carefully open the scroll, attempting to not break the seals. Let's see what this does. With a, ma a measured hand, you very slowly massage the wax seals until you feel each seal slowly giving way without cracking. When you are done, each seal appears visibly intact, and only a small application of heat is needed to reseal the container and hide any evidence of tampering. Before doing so, you read the scroll contained within. Rejoice, seekers! The, judician, ju the judicious application of pain has loosened the tongue of, the, of our informant. The artifact we seek has recently been moved to Elm's Reach. It should be secured in a residence near the entrance of the settlement. The informant suggests that it is likely stashed away under the floor. We have endured much in our pursuit of this hallowed relic. Soon our efforts will come to fruition. The Council of Arch Martyrs... Uh, Arch Martyrs? So these guys are just... They just sell... This Martin, no, they self-mutilate themselves or whatever. Uh, uh, so the council awaits your triumphant return. Do not fail us. Okay. And so the guy dies. Can I take your stuff? Six silver fennings. It's cool. Cool name for, for a coin right there. Cool name right there. It's a good thing that I came this way because... Well, it's, I would always come this way because uh, I, I hate Fog of War. As you well know. But uh, it's a good thing that I did because there's stuff in here and a quest. Uh, so what I was going to say about big cats. Oh, there's something over there. There's something over here. Uh, there's the, Yeah, I, I'm not sure if I'm right on this one, but I think I've read somewhere 
or heard somewhere, I don't know, that uh, big cats, they are better killers in general than big dogs. So basically, uh, like wolves, for example, they, in some locations in the world, they've been driven to extinction by just, you know, jaguars, cougars, and all that. And, uh, you know, big cats, they are, well, more, they are better adapt, adapted to uh, just the environment and uh, will kill better and more than dogs. So, yeah, I, I would rather face... I would rather face a wolf than a lion or a cougar or a puma. Yeah. Yeah, even though they... they yeah, it's probably... I was gonna say that probably the wolves have, have uh, tougher, you know, teeth. and uh, Not the teeth, the mandible or whatever. Um, but uh, that's probably not true. That's probably not true. Uh, yeah. It's probably... Eh, it, it probably depends. I don't know. I wouldn't know. Uh, so, yeah. I guess, uh, oh yeah, there's an antelope over there. I thought there was an enemy, but it's not. It's just a little cutesy animal, but I guess that's that for Elmshore. No, that's not Elmshore. Are we Elmshore? Yeah, we're at Elmshore. So let's go to whatever the other one is. I guess we're being, uh, you know, fed each one. Hearthsong. That's a nice name for a village. Is it a village? I suppose it is. It isn't It isn't a, uh, the normal uh, forest icon, so I suppose it's a village. It's more of these trees, though. It's kind of cool. I wonder who made this. Are we outside of Deerwood right now? Is this not Deerwood? Because Deerwood is the country, right? So, I don't know. It, it, it should be all in Deerwood, the game. So, I suppose... Even the White March is Deerwood, I think. But again, I might be wrong on that one. Okay, so a supplicant has arrived. That is fine. I will assign somebody to him. I will send an escort to this guy. And uh, that is that. Let's see if we're all good on this part. I think we're good. Uh, yeah, okay, we're good. Let's continue on. Assassin at large. I have reached Twin Elms. The city has a front gate. With any luck, someone saw him when he passed through. I'll have to ask around. We got warriors and a Stalger. Oh, this one is tamed. I was like, a Stalger? Yeah. We've just been killing a few of those, and I was talking about them as well. But, uh, yeah, this one is tamed. So these guys are like elves, probably, or something. I don't know what they are. Oh, maybe they're Galfathans. Oh, Estromor. Still, okay, yeah, I think they, they refer to anybody who's not a Galfathan as Estromor. Hail, Estromor. Another fugitive from the Burning City. The six tribes of Air Glafan welcome you to Twin Elms. Before you lies the Hearth Song district. You are free to explore it, but do not let your feet stray into the other districts. Those are forbidden for Estromorwin. Estromorun. I okay. So why is it forbidden to enter the remaining districts of Twin Elms? Twin Elms is a sacred city built where the first keepers of the stone met the builders. It exists alongside the works of the builders, and it is the only place in all of Erglafanth where it is permitted to set a foot. To set foot among these sacred places. The Estramorum, however, do not have proper respect for the stones here. His, word, his words trigger something in, in your memory. You see an image of a perfectly cube of Ad, a perfect cube of Adra. Just as quickly, the image fades. Perfect cube of Adra. I've never seen that in the game. Okay. A leader of one of the tribes could give you the permission to, of, the, of the city. Permission of the city. Only Anaman... Anim, uh, Anaman... Fath ben, I'm gonna have such a great time pronouncing these names. Only Animatepet is present in the passage of the sixth day, and she has her own troubles. He jerks his head at a long hut in the middle of the district. You have other questions about Twin Elms? Sure, tell me about Twin Elms. The city is sacred to all Glan Fathans, as it is the place where our ancestors first encountered the builders. That fated meeting turned our people from generations of wandering to a permanent home among the builders' relics. When the builders commanded us to settle here, they allowed us the unique privilege to live among their structures here. It is the only place in Ergalan Fath where this is permitted. The sacred city is divided into four districts. Hathsong, the commons district, Old Song, the, sites, the site of our temples, Elms Reach, home of Delemgan and Druids, and the, bur the Burial Isle, which is the most sacred place in the city. 
Well, tell me about Har Hearthsong, where we are right now. This is Hearthsong. It's a place where Glamfathans and Estramorum may gather together. It is also the site of the Passage of the Six, where our tribal leaders, the Aman Fathabathath, meet. That way is the market. Guard your purse there. No one bargains like a Glanfathan. And if you need a place to stay, follow the fence to the east. There you will find the way to the Celestial Sapling. Oh, we've heard of this before. Oh, yeah, this is where the... Oh, yeah, it's the ladder. The, the ladder said something about that. So, uh, tell me about which temples lie in Old Song. There is Noonfrost, which is dedicated to Rim... Rim... That's a weird name. Rimgand. I'm gonna call it Rimgand. The R is... That's a typo. It's a typo. <laughs> a group of pale elves from the frozen Southlands arrived not long ago to oversee it. There is also the Nest, a temple to Hylia, and a Galawine's Mao as a den of elf beasts dedicated to the hunter god. The route to the burial isle also lies that way. Tell me about Elm's Reach. There lies Tyr Wevron, one of the only towers of the builder still in perfect condition. Two great elm trees twine around it. Even the mightiest work of the gods protect the works of the builders. Two Delamgan sisters dwell there now. The Hall of the Warriors stands at the other end of the district. Rumor has it that Anamfath Simok of Three Tusk Stelgar is there now. Elm's Reach is also where the druids keep their halls. There are the Ovates of the Golden Grove and the Ethin Lock of the Blood Sands. Many, sh many shudder at the brutal sacrifices of Ethin Nol, but High Ovate Erona is just as powerful in her own way. Do you know anything about the Burial Isle? Is it, uh, it is the place where the Aman Fath are laid to rest among the stones placed by the builders. They say the souls of some of the Aman Fath linger there. The way lies through Old Song. It is the holiest of places in all of Twin Helms. Okay, that's all I wanted to know about the city. Um, so he said something about the keepers of the stone. I don't, I don't remember, but apparently I haven't heard about that. Why would I? I okay, the oldest of the six tribes. Up the stairs into the passage of the six. This is where our Anmanfath gather. Bithul, the Anmanf. Anman, uh, that's weird. such weird names. God damn it, these guys. And the guided compass can tell you more. Tell us about the builders. You know them as Anguithans. To us, they are the builders, creators of the sacred places that we guard uh, to this day. Okay. So, but they dead. They are. Yeah, I don't remember. That. Yeah. Okay. So they are dead. And I suppose I'm. My soul is from one of those. I'm pretty sure my soul is Anguithian in nature. Otherwise, Th Thalos wouldn't talk to me like he talks to me when he's, uh, when he's, a uh, like a wraith or whatever. Okay, well, I'll keep your words in mind. Best that you keep your visit brief. Word has reached our ears that the riots have ended and the gates of Defiance Bay have opened once more. Really? That's great. That means I can go back and complete that quest for Grimta, whatever the name of that girl was. Okay, that's good. As an assassin at large. Uh, so I uh, apparently foreigners are forbidden from going deeper into the city. They said that and blah, 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 it's so weird. Too many weird words for me. Too many weird words. I'm gonna train them in between episodes. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be reading them like ten times each, and then reading them again ten times each. I'm probably not gonna get those right, but I think oh, at least it's gonna be a little bit better for the next time. But for now. I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Pillars of Eternity, The White March. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video, but above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.